culture is very much collaborative. I think while we're here, we have a chance to really meet each other and uh, people from many different backgrounds uh, coming from different angles um, of either analytical science or basic biology. From the scientific side, which is primarily where I interact, I find that it's, um, it's, it's a little younger than a lot of the other conferences I'll go to, so uh, it's very energetic and fun. So the culture of SLAS is really inclusive. I found the organization to be very welcoming uh, across the spectrum of uh, ages and experience and also different backgrounds, so academia to industry to government labs. Very, very collaborative culture at SLAS. Um, throughout my time in the society, I think one of the things I have valued most is that people are willing to help, willing to collaborate, willing to share their ideas, but also willing to have fun while they're doing it. Unlike scientific conferences, really a focus in a certain scientific area, this is unique because of the more diverse community that are brought together. For me as an academic, uh, I've uh, particularly appreciated uh, being a member of an organization that has so many uh, fine scientists from industry. That's uh, unlike many of the other professional associations that I'm a part of. This organization really allows me to rub shoulders with the elite in industry and I've uh, learned a lot and benefited greatly from it. I think one exciting thing that's happened for me through engagement with this organization recently has been an opportunity to engage with the Avenue vendors. So an opportunity to see small startups, companies that are really new, and they have an opportunity here to show their, their innovation and their technology development, and to really connect with those entrepreneurs, to understand where they see the field going and how they think that small business can play a role. I think that's been a really fantastic avenue for insight into the future of the industry and also into research as well. Um, and very few other conferences really give a venue like that. I was looking for engineering design firms to help with development of a microfluidic instrument. So last year on, on the floor, I, I met with several folks and, and uh, led to a successful relationship with Excel Biotech. And so Cytovale, which is the company, is now working uh, and has worked with Excel Biotech to develop a prototype instrument, and, and we're really happy with that relationship. SLAS has been just a perfect venue for me to, to come meet industry scientists, and I've had the good fortune to develop relationships uh, with folks at uh, TCAN, uh, Invitrogen, now Life Technologies, and Abbott Diagnostics. And through these relationships, I've uh, had the opportunity to work on uh, collaborative research uh, projects and uh, it's really been a lot of fun for me through opportunities generated by SLAS. That personal connection has paid off in many different ways from many different angles and it wouldn't have come about without me having come to SLAS in the beginning. The strongest benefit that I've had is, is building a strong network. Uh, as an academic, Sometimes it's difficult to, to identify areas where my research can have an impact. Through the meetings at SLS, through the, the online publications, through, through the network, I can identify areas that are of interest to indus in industry and practical areas of interest and make my research better by making it more applicable and more practical. I've learned a lot of things attending the SLS meeting and you know I think a couple of examples are um, you know hearing about high content screening a number of years ago and also hearing about phenotypic drug screening and how important that was becoming you know it's things like that that I can take back in my position and back to our company and then really work on it keeps me at the forefront of the science that we see in our field and it allows me to continue to build these relationships that I have um, with scientists across our community from within the academic sector, um, the vendor community and also elsewhere in industry um, and that knowledge and those networks that they help me to do my job, they help me to think of new science, new ways of doing things and I guess ultimately it helps me do what I get paid for which is to discover drugs for AstraZeneca. I continue my work with SLAS for a few reasons. First and foremost, it's the people involved. They've done so much for me from the very beginning and I'll remember that forever. In addition to the people, it's the knowledge that I derive from this organization. Every time I come to an SLAS meeting, I'm always learning from this organization, both personally and professionally. And I think that's uh, those are some of the most rewarding components of this organization. I'll continue to come to SLAS events for the remainder of my career. Come transform research. 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 Come. Transform research. Come.
transform research. Come transform research. Come transform research. Come transform research. Vai ti sono i degli anni oba. Vieni e trasforma la ricerca. Unete e trasforma la investigazione. Pasli preobrazat isledovani. Thank you ni henkau in das tameni. Dehi oide kudasai. Come mit und verändere die Forschung. Come unterzoek veranderen. Come ja vorher nach Forschung gehen.